my friend, so you've probably heard the term self-publishing, but did you know there are three different ways that you can self-publish a book and they all have pros and cons? Well, maybe you did, maybe you didn't, but today I'm going to walk you through these three different types of self-publishing so you know which one is going to be best for you. My name is Kelly Notaris. I'm the founder of KN Literary Arts. We are a full service book studio helping you get from wherever you are now all the way through to having a book in your hand. I've worked at some of the biggest publishers in the United States over the last 20 years, and I bring you all of that great information right here to this YouTube channel. So please do subscribe and click the little bell icon so you never miss a video. All right, so today's video is an education in the three different types of self-publishing. So first, what does self-publishing mean? As opposed to a traditional publisher who will curate really carefully which books they take onto their list, pay you in advance if they decide your book is saleable and they want to take it on, and then they will bring to the table a cover designer, an interior designer, an editor, a proofreader, and they will put the book into the world. They will get it printed. They'll get it out to barnesandnoble.com, Barnes and Noble in brick and mortar. They'll get it out on Amazon. They'll get it to bookshop.org, which is one of my favorite book selling sites. They'll get it out into small independent book bookstores. Hopefully they are responsible for making it available for sale. Now, Unfortunately, or fortunately, I don't know how you want to look at it, in this day and age, you as the author are still responsible for selling every single copy, which is why most traditional publishers are not going to take you on until you're a little further down your writing career where you have a following. So how do you get down the pipeline of your writing career if you don't have a book in the world? The answer is to self-publish. And so that's what I wanted to talk to you about today. Self-publishing is where you take on the responsibility for getting your book into the world, and once again, for selling every copy of it. But you you can start smaller. You don't actually have to have some huge list to get started. In fact, you can use your book to start generating an audience. As long as the book is great and it really works for people and they pass it along hand to hand, your book will actually spread your message for you and bring people back to sign up for your email list or to subscribe to your YouTube channel or whatever it might be that you're looking for them to do. Okay, so how do you self-publish a book? The answer is that there are three different options. Back in the day, before the thing that they now call uh, print-on-demand digital publishing, they used to have, and they still do have, offset print presses in most towns. An offset printer is a place where you, you give them a call, you tell them, this is how many words my book is, this is how many pages it lays out to, um, I want it to be hardcover, I want a dust jacket, how much are you gonna charge me per copy? And they'll usually give you different price points per copy, depending on how many books you, you order right out the gate, because they have to actually set up that printing press and print all of the books at once. So, this is where the issue comes in with offset printing because the higher the print run, the lower the cost to you. So if you don't want each book to cost you $10, you're going to need to print several thousand copies. But if you don't already have an audience in place, how are you going to sell several thousand copies of your book? I mean, you have to be very, very determined and many people are, um, but also many people end up with a garage full of copies of their book. The good news for you is that the three different options I want to walk you through, actually none of them requires you to warehouse thousands of copies of your book in your garage. So there are going to be three different types, DIY, assisted self-publishing, and hybrid self-publishing. Okay, so DIY is just what it sounds like. You do it all. You're the one who's responsible for finding a cover designer, for finding interior designer, to, for finding someone to edit the content of the book and make sure it really works, and then do the copy editing and proofreading at the different stages of the process. You're responsible for finding, getting your ISBN number, which is the unique number that lets people know when they scan your book. What, what book it is. Um, it really, it identifies your book beyond the title um, in all sorts of systems that different booksellers will need. Um, you need to get your UPC number. You have to choose your price point. There are just a lot of different pieces that you have to do yourself. Many people really love that process. They're excited. They like to get in there and tinker. Fabulous. If that's you, DIY is for you. There are two different publishers that I would say I would work with if I were doing DIY. They are both digital print on demand options. The first one is Amazon KDP. Uh, it used to be called Create Space. It's very easy to get your book uploaded there, both in terms of a paper book and also obviously a 
Kindle um, ebook. The other option, which is actually my personal favorite, is Ingram Spark. Ingram is a book distributor. They've been around for a really long time. They are friends with men, with all the booksellers. They're ecumenical. Every bookseller loves them because they get the publisher's books to the bookseller if the bookseller doesn't need an entire box of books. So maybe you are a, a small business owner, you own a little bookstore, you only really need three copies of the newest bestseller. You're probably only going to sell three copies. But if you ordered directly from the publisher, you'd end up with 24 copies. You don't need that. You go to Ingram. Ingram will pack a box for you of books from all different publishers in exactly the, the quantities that you need. So they're friends to the booksellers. The booksellers love Ingram. Whereas Amazon, as you can imagine is a competitor to the booksellers. So if you would like to have, say, a book signing um, or have your books stocked on the shelf at your local brick and mortar bookstore, you probably want to go through Ingram. They are more likely to be willing to stock your book and support your book if it's not supporting one of their competitors. Got it? Okay. So, but either one is totally legitimate. Either one will get your book into paper book and ebook format. So it's Amazon KDP or Ingram Spark. Both of them are DIY publishers. Okay, that's that model. The next one is assisted self-publishing. So this is for those of you who want to self-publish, but you kind of don't really need to learn the whole process yourself. You want someone who's an expert in self-publishing to walk you through, to guide you, hold your hand. They know where to get your ISBN. They know how big the UPC code needs to be. They've got a, maybe a stable of several different designers that they could... It, connect you with so you don't have to go looking for your own. Assisted self-publishing comes in a lot of different forms. It could be anything from just an individual who puts themselves out as a book a self-publishing coach. Um, sometimes there's a cottage industry that's sort of called um, self-publishing book shepherds. <laughs> you could Google that and find people who do that, do that kind of work. Um, so basically you're looking, this is somebody who's just making a business out of helping you. They, they're the expert. They've learned how the self-publishing business goes and they probably have a favorite between Amazon KDP and Ingram Spark, and they probably will put it through one of those. Um, they're also publishing or smaller companies that would do this for you as well. They're not publishers. They are, um, maybe just a, a small company like, I don't know, KN Literary Arts. Wait for the end. We've got an announcement. Um, of, again, experts who can walk you through the process of getting your book into the world. So that's assisted self-publishing. They assist you in self-publishing your book via one of these print-on-demand um, publishing companies, Amazon KDP or Ingram Spark. Okay, the third is the hybrid self-publisher. Generally speaking, a hybrid self-publisher is either quite a large company or they're a branch of a larger company that's already publishing books. Um, they might be doing the traditional model, but then they realize, oh, there's all these people who want a book in the world who aren't quite ready for traditional let's create a self-publishing arm and we can help them using the resources we've already gathered. We already have our designers. We already know how books should be put into the world. Let's now make this hybrid option. So a hallmark of a hybrid book publisher for self-publishing is that they are going to they're going to create all of the book for you, but you're going to pay them something to do that. So you both are putting money in together. Usually you're not paying for every single service. Usually you're just contributing some amount of money. So that's one hallmark. The second one is that they curate their list, meaning they're not going to take you on if they don't think you're going to sell copies of your book. They're going to check in with you and find out, oh, you've got a business. You are a teacher of some sort. You're a speaker. You're going to promote this somehow. We are, we're going to sell a lot of copies of the book. Fantastic. So they're going to curate it and make sure the book is really good. They're going to actually put the time to edit the book for you because it has to be at a level that they feel comfortable putting their own icon on the on the um, spine of the book. So that icon is called a colophon. And it's really like, you know, there, I'll, I'll show you here. On my own book, I've got, I've, I was published by Hay House. So there's their colophon on my book, right? So no one is going to put their name on your book if they don't think your book is actually really good, right? So that hybrid self-publisher is going to need to really feel confident that your book is going to be good enough for their list. Um, so that's the second hallmark is curation. And the third one is that they're gonna take a royalty based off of your book sales. So they are want to make sure you've got a book that's going to sell because they're actually gonna get some money from every copy sold. So those are the three different different types. We've got DIY, we've got assisted, and then we've got hybrid. So you get to choose, do some research. You can find out information about all of these different types. I'll say that I put them into those three categories, but there's no real regulation in the business. So other people might call a hybrid publisher something different or assisted self-publishing something different. I just wanted to put them into categories of understanding for you, um, but go out there and do some research. Find out what's available in your area or in with companies that you're familiar with. 
And since you made it this far, I'm so excited because I want to make a special announcement. Since I started KN Literary seven and a half years ago from the time this video comes out, we have been asked over and over by our clients, why can't we self-publish through you? We love working with your editors. It feels like a family there. I feel so taken care of. Why can't I self-publish through you? And the answer was just, wow, we've got so many other things on our plate. We don't have time to put together you know, the self-publishing service because it actually takes time. You have to really get expert in all the different steps of the process. And there are many of them. There's so many details you cannot imagine <laughs> to getting your book in the world. So if you're going to go DIY, kudos to you because you're taking on on a pretty big um, chunk of work. But it took us some time, but we are now so excited to announce that we have officially opened the doors to our assisted self-publishing service. So as I said before, our assisted self-publishing service is where we bring our expertise to you. We have studied it, we've gone deep, we've done some beta tests, and we now feel really confident that we can get you from a manuscript all the way through to having a book in your hand in a way that's going to make you so proud. So very excited to show you the very first book we have that's come out. This is our very first self-published book through our KN Literary Self-Publishing Services. It's called The Inspiring Wisdom of Victor E. Frankel. And you may be familiar with Victor Frankel. He wrote the book Man's Search for Meaning. It's a very well-known, well-respected book. And this book is a book of his most powerful quotes, at also with some questions for contemplation that you can actually journal and really take in his wisdom and how it applies in your own life. It's written by Pam Roy and Moira Hummel, and we are so grateful to the two of them for taking a leap with us. They were one of our very first beta clients. We put several beta clients through the process this year. They were the first, and they're certainly the first to get their book out into the world, and it looks just gorgeous. We couldn't be more proud of it. So congratulations, Pam and Moira, and also all of you who are thinking, oh, I would really love to self-publish a book, but I don't even know the first place to start, head on over to KN Literary and you can go to the services drop down and find our self-publishing page and, and we'll put the link down below as well. You can sign up for a call with one of our matchmakers and walk through the process. We'll explain how we do it, what's required of you, what the step-by-step -step process is, and what the cost would be. So please go ahead and give us a call. We'd love to hear from you. And just know that we are here whenever you are ready to help you no matter why you're putting your book into the world, whether it's as a legacy to your children and your grandchildren, or whether it's the beginning, the spark of a new business, or to get your the business you've already established further out into the world, which a book definitely will do we are here to help. So look forward to seeing you. Look forward to holding your book up in one of my future videos. And in the meantime, happy writing.